This should be illegal. What in the world are 8 a.m. the thing for? Because, like, why are you, why, why is it attractive for a teacher to want to get up that early anyways to teach a class? Like, sir, are you not asleep? Like, come on now. Like, I don't understand. I did not like 8 a.m. I had an 8 a.m. last year, uh, last semester. I need to put some water in this. Can't go, we can't be going out with a wrinkly shark, y'all. But, yeah, so my first uh, class today is history. And the reason I haven't taken a history gen ed yet is because I was trying to save my history gen ed for the African American history. But it ended up being where 300 levels don't count as your gen eds. So it's like, Wofford is really just annoying about classes and what actually counts. Like, they're all about money. But shoot, I'm still graduating early. Um, So I have an 8.30, a 9.30, a, an 8.30, a 9.30, um, a 1.00. A 1 and then a 2.30. So I have a little time in between, just a little, to have lunch. Depending on where I'm at is where I'm going to eat. It'll probably be Burwell. I always like, because Wofford is not that great with offering, like, healthier options. So I always... Um... I always alternate where I eat or else I'll, like I'll gain so much weight like freshman 15 is a real thing y'all it is a real thing the thing is I started going into the gym more I don't know why what prompted me I think it's because I wanted a butt so hey that works okay let's get this ironing Way. But yeah, we're going to vlog today. I thought I should do like a vlog of Wofford first. I'm going to call this my first day because <laughs> yesterday, my first day, I literally started with, um, I literally started with one class that started at 1130. And it was also raining and I was just like, yeah, no, but I had a real estate development class and we didn't even talk about anything in that class either. He kind of just, we told the typical, what city are you from? What's the fun fact about you? Like, why do teachers always do that? I mean, I guess it's a good way to know people, but to be honest, like, I forgot. I remember this one, these guys kept trying to be all cool and stuff, and they're like, yeah, I was like, I, like, played with so-and-so. I guess he's a famous athlete or something. I don't know. And he, uh, they were like, yeah, like, he used to play in my backyard. Like, I don't care. I don't even know who that is. So, yeah. I'm not too big of a fan. But my fun fact was, I'm obsessed with fashion and I probably have like 50 pairs of shoes. Which is correct. Um, I need help. Or I just need a bigger place, a bigger house. Like, my, my passion for fashion can always be accommodated. But what cannot be accommodated is having no options to wear. Like, I feel like having a lot of clothes gives you option to change up your style. Like, if I want to be emo one day, I can be emo. If I want to be preppy girl, I could be preppy. If I want to be streetwear girl like today, I could be streetwear. Yesterday, I was preppy. Today, I'm streetwear, babe. Like, get you a girl that can be versatile. What time is it? I need to get moving. I need to leave at least by 7.30 so that I can find a parking space 
so that I can walk to my class because what I'm not going to be doing is getting into class late, getting a bad seat for the rest of the semester, and like setting um, sweating. That's what I meant to say. Okay, yeah, it's too early. So I got this shirt. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make it girly. It's still gonna be a. Uh, it's still gonna be like streetwear, but we're gonna tuck it under here. Be right back, cause we gotta switch rooms. But let me explain who I am. I didn't even get like an intro to this video. My intro was like sad. But um. Okay, my name is Hannah Sterling. I don't want to get copyrighted, so we're going to go ahead and... These are the wrong pants. Shoot. I feel like these work better, though, because they have, like, yellow in the back. But I was trying to wear... I was trying to wear um the red ones. But I guess this works better because this is the... This shirt has a lot of yellow in it more than red because then that means I need to probably change my shoes. We'll see, man. I really wanted to wear my Jordan, my white Jordan ones. But okay, we got to put these lashes back on because doing your own lashes and they're not going to stay on unless you're a lash tech and you got that together. But y'all, I think I have ADHD, so let's get back to the... <laughs> Let's get back to the main topic at hand. I am, my name is Hannah Sterling. I am a, a senior technically right now since I'm graduating early. So this is like my senior year, but my class is a junior. I'm basically class of 2023, 20, but I made it class of December, 2022. And my major is, at first I was, choosing to pursue two degrees, a BA in Spanish and a BS in science. I mean, a, shoot, not science, Lord Jesus, a BS in finance, but now I am a, I'm still double majoring, but I'm a BS in finance with a second major in a second major in Spanish. Got like 20 minutes. You know I'm more behind? That is not enough. Fun fact about me is no matter how badly I'm running late, I will always make my bed. Like, and a lot of times I only sleep on one side, so I only have to fix one side. So. Okay, so I really feel like a skater person. Like this is the this is the final outfit. So I got these on. These are the shoes that I really wanted to wear. So it's really just giving streetwear today. Like we should not be having school if the sun is not out. Besides the point. Okay, so here's how I take my pictures. Also, never drive with your ones, okay? I'm about to take off one of them, my driving one, because you don't want to crease your shoe. This is why I like coming to school early. That is all mine. We found a good parking space today, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to have to go to the other parking lot, Lord. 
Okay, and the fact that I'm a pro, I literally did that holding a camera. Y'all, I almost forgot to vlog in camera. So, the reason I'm excited, everybody's usually excited about parking here. In this parking lot, this is between Ship and uh, Lasane, is simply because it's close to everything. So like, there's a, uh, the ice cream. There's Olin right there, which is like a popular, um, it's a popular place to have classes where I have most of my classes. So that means like if I have an Olin class at the end of the day, that means I can just come out to my car. The other, um, the other thing is like far. Um, the other parking lot, it's like down the hill. And so this is one of the areas, this little archway. And then this is Maine, where I need to go. So I would say this parking lot is pretty close to classes that I need. You can see the beautiful compass. Old Maine, the row over there. Yeah. The trick is trying to find my class. I hope this door is open. Yes. Because in here, in Maine, one side is evens and one side is odds. Or not odds, but like it only goes up to one. So I think I'm on the right side. I didn't get here first, but I got here at a decent time. There's nobody here. So I'm going to pick this spot. It needs to be by a charger. Yeah, no, this is good. I went back one seat. <laughs> so we got out of class early. Like, Loki was a bit tired. Y'all, look at this. What the heck? Okay. Anyways, so I low-key was a bit tired. I was trying not to fall asleep, but I saw that he was pointing other people out. So I was just like, stay up, Hannah, stay up. And so I was taking notes, which I always do, like my detailed colored notes, but even more so this time, trying to get myself together. I'm gonna need to get coffee for that class, but it's not bad. I'm sort of interested, you know what I'm saying? And like, it's a history class, so I think it'll be interesting. But now I'm going to Spanish so I can got, I can show you guys the, um, I can show you guys the Galleria. It's called the Michael S. Brown something center. And this is my first time having a Spanish class in here so this should be interesting for both of us oh who got surgery all these boys get a surgery so this is what we call dang this is what we call the galleria let me see if i can see it better we call this the wonderful galleria Oh god, I didn't even have a thing. Also, y'all, guys are so weird. And I'm here, dang, somebody got their window open. And I'm here to say again that I don't have time for any of them. So this is what classes look like in um, the Galleria. I'm trying to turn on the lights, but y'all get the gist. So I chose my seat back here. So we're done with that class and I'm gonna go get some lunch. 
this is Burwell. And the food has gotten better since they've expanded, so that's great. This is the cafeteria. This here, and then there's this. Yeah. <laughs> this here. If y'all knew what Barwell looked like before it got renovated. Okay, let's go downstairs. There's an elevator, but we're gonna use the stairs. There's the sweets over there. There's the pizza over there. I don't know if I wanna fully go down here, but then there's like the breakfast area. There's more seating spots and everything. Now, I'm gonna go to the drink area. And it's over here. Y'all, this is so in depth. Like, this is an in depth vlog. Like, I am so proud of myself right now because y'all are gonna wanna see this vlog. They have no ice. This is the most tragic thing. I don't drink stuff without ice. Hold up. Bruh. <laughs> None of them have ice, so we're just gonna go and get this. Like, I have ice because it keeps things cold. Like, I don't know if this juice is cold. It doesn't feel like it. Like, ice is necessary. What are they doing? And I usually do, like, a mix of lemonade, cranberry juice, and apple juice. It tastes good. The food actually looks good. Okay, you see? Seed in HD. Okay. So this is, why does it keep doing that? This is Richard Milliken. That's where if you're a science major, you'll be in there a lot. Um, view of campus this way. That's Old Main. A lot of English and history classes are in there. And then we're coming up on this other part. I'll start the video again once we get there. Say hi. Your name? I'm Kirsten Smith. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. I just told people, I was like, if you see me vlogging, be in it. Wait, that's fun. I love it. Thanks. How's your class? classes been? It's good. I had dance today. That's it? I have dance and then bio. Oh, yeah. yeah so Boy. there's so the Sarah for one other part. But Burwell's pretty good. What'd you get? I got the mashed potatoes. The broccoli's not cooked. That was way too crunchy for me. Because yeah. I like soft and carrots the, and they always are like They're cold hard. And it's hard. Cold, yeah. They're supposed to be like. I'm like, I, I thought these were supposed you, to be cooked. I don't know how they manage to not cook them. Yeah. Literally, all you have to do is put them in hot water. But, but that's pretty much the only, like, the good stuff. But then I think there was, like, some sriracha chicken stuff. I saw that. I just was like, I worked out today, so I was like, I kind of need, like, so I don't want something hot. Because, like. Oh, yeah. The salad's actually looking green today. So. Yes. That should well, be good. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks, same to you. Of course. <laughs> so we're gonna do a um, half tour because this is not my building. So what's it called? This is the environmental center. That's the arts building. Over there is Carlisle. Over there is Green. Over there is David. No, I've never had a class in there. That's where all the government and politics stuff meets. Um, the David Mil I don't know. And military science being there, like ROTC? Man, I don't know. And then over there is the library. We're gonna pass that, because I'm also gonna go to the post office to see if I have anything. So I'm giving y'all like an in-depth tour at this point. And also, I don't go in the library anymore. That's for freshmen. Like, to fool around. Like, as a freshman, I was fooling around in the library. And um, now I study at other places. But you can study in there, get help, use the computers. 
all of that. So this is the library and that's a statue honoring a kid that sadly he drowned. Um, and it's like a known myth that sometimes a $20 will appear in his hand and you can take it and um, then you just put a $1 bill there. So yeah, that's the dorm that we had to pay $3,000 extra for. Um, yeah, where only freshmen can live. And then over there is the wellness center. The baseball field is behind it. Soccer fields over here. This is where campus safety is. This is like student life. Campus safety is here. Post office, Chick-fil-A, Boar's Head, and more study areas and the game room. So yeah. So campus safety is in there. This is the post office. So I'm gonna check the see. That's my best friend over there because I'm always getting packages. But checking to see if I have anything in the mail. So here this and here. Let me get this boy. So we are in the gym area. So this is Zach's. These are the courts. There's the weight side over there. And this is the running side. I'm sure you can see it from the outside. So this is Olin. Um, a lot of um, classes are in here.